I'm Michael Taylor. I'm the curator of the Picasso and the Avant-Garde in Paris exhibition at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And we're standing here in front of Picasso's greatest wartime sculpture, Man with a Lamb, which he completed in 1944. This was a work that he actually made first in clay, and he just slapped it on. You really have to look in and around and under and above this sculpture to get the sense of the surface. It has the most amazing surface. Once he had applied the clay and built this larger than life-size figure, he then cast it in plaster. And once he had the plaster, he had the mold to make a bronze sculpture. He makes only three of them. And this speaks to the wartime shortage of bronze. It was actually illegal during the Nazi occupation to make a bronze edition, as Picasso did. So he broke the law in doing this. And I think that gives you an insight into his state of mind at that time. This is a kind of good shepherd idea. Um, the lamb is, is ostensibly there to be sacrificed for the sake of humanity. And you can't help but read during the Second World War, this is a political allegory. Have a look at this work. This was made in the same year by Jacques Lipschitz, a Lithuanian-born French artist. He was Jewish. He escaped uh, from Nazi Europe and moved to the United States. And he made this after learning about the concentration camps. And he said later that he, was, he just had tears running down his eyes as he made this image, which is a, a rabbi swirling this cockerel above his head. It's going to be sacrificed. And it's a sin offering. It will take on the sins of the community. But the rabbi himself is eviscerated, and his entrails open to reveal a lamb on the inside. So there's a wonderful connection here, and I think it bespeaks the fact that modern artists now were trying to find a language, a visual language, with which to speak about the atrocities of the Second World War and what was going on in Europe. And I think that they, if you see one in isolation, it's a wonderful work of art. You see them together and you realize that there's a dialogue going on here across the continents.